Hi guys, Micro Homesteaders here. We've got some footage that we've taken. Oh, I think this one is from yesterday because it was supposed to rain today and we were afraid we might not be able to get any. So, uh, anyway, we're going to try to give you a little idea of what we've been doing for the last, oh, I don't know, seven to ten days. And uh, quite a lot, really. What do you think? Yes, we have been very, very busy, but we're really happy about it. So we'll give you a little tour of uh, what we've got in so far. Let's see. Okay. I think this next piece that's coming up, though, Mama, is going to be the one that uh, will best show them, and you can talk over it but I wanted to kind of give an idea of how many uh, of these raised beds that we've put in and gee many Christmas uh, I hope this is the hardest year let's uh, get another one up here and okay so here we've got uh, tomatoes yes these are some of the first that we put in and I planted them right away. We've got tomatoes and peppers in this first bed here. Uh, they're just growing to beat the band. And in the next bed over, we have cabbage, uh, broccoli, and collards. And let's see here. This first bed, boy, and I don't know who did that camera work, but it was terrible. <laughs> Uh, it was probably me. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I'll admit to it. This, uh, These tomatoes, I think, have been in the ground, what, for about five days or something like that? Uh, the tomatoes and the, and the peppers? Yeah. And I think coming up, we've got a little better shot of the, the next one over there. And uh, I can see what, tell us what's over there. I can't remember. Oh, I know what you're going to, this, you're going to see a, a pretty nice shot here, I think, of uh, a pepper and a tomato and the, uh, uh, what kind of flowers are those again? Marigolds. Marigolds like tomatoes. Tomatoes like marigolds. Okay. I think mostly in this bed is Rutger tomatoes. I like those awful well to can and eat. They're just a, a good overall tomato. Is that yeah, what you're telling that's, me? Yes, that's right. I have other tomatoes in another bed. Now, in that bed there, you can't see anything but uh, maple seed, but it has, uh, it's, well, let's start with this one here. In this one, we have collards and broccoli and cabbage. And some more marigolds. And it seems to me like uh, maybe 2,000 pounds of dirt. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got, we're laying cardboard in the walkways, and we'll put wood chips on those. And there's some red cabbage, too. And the next bed is beets. Now over in the far left corner is potatoes. And this one is a work in progress. And I don't know if we got a good shot of it or not, but I've got a 48 by 48 uh, small bed in there. And it's kind of a, I don't know, a test bed. Uh, we put... Uh, what did, was it, 48, uh, I, I think yeah. maybe 50 uh, pieces of sweet corn. Close to bed. it. And we'll see how that turns out. A little close, but uh, they may work. Who knows? Okay, now moving along. Yeah, and we've got uh, gobs and gobs of dirt to go in that one, yeah. which we'll do tomorrow. 
I've got plenty of leaves. We're going to lay down first. This video was just a little longer than I thought, but... Uh, and a weed barrier. There's our one of our potato beds. We have several. Now, in the back there, the last one right there is uh, Bush Blue Lake Beans. Three rows. Right. As I recall. Mm -hmm. There's a compost. And we have a total of five more raised beds to go into this garden. So. And it's back in the back there is going to be wood chips to go in the garden. Yeah, and we're going to uh, put one more raised bed in the back there. Yeah. So... We're really excited. Now here's another potato bed. We but, have the red Pontiac potatoes in that one. But I got to tell you, uh, a garden in the past for me has been scraping up some dirt and throwing in some seed. But uh, these raised beds uh, bring gardening to a whole new level, believe me. Boy, you sure in, can. In the fact that uh, it's about 100 times more work. That's the big thing. Um, yeah, there's the other end of the garden. This would be looking towards the east. And um, that's pretty much the tour there, I think. So we did have to, uh, while we were at it, uh, Carol will tell you about... Carol will tell you about the strawberries. Yeah, there's the strawberries, and they... They'll be getting ripe soon. And we can hardly wait. It's it's always good when the garden starts coming in, even if it's just a little bit. We have some green onions that'll be ready soon. Yeah, we didn't get to show those, but uh, this guy here, he's not part of the garden. At least I hope not, because there's probably some things in there he'd like to eat. Who knows? But anyway, we had to show him. And thanks a lot, guys, for watching. And uh, I know we've done better uh, videos, but we'll catch you next time. Thanks, and come back and see us.